Well, folks, today is the day that we have the maiden voyage of the Vibe Yellowfin 100. I just purchased this last week. I spent months researching it, and I think this is going to be the kayak that I was looking for. Got everything geared towards kayak fishing. Got a whole setup going. It's gonna it's gonna evolve over time. We're just we're just doing a real basic thing today. We don't even have anything in the back. But uh, we do have the tackle boxes actually that match the color of the kayak right here. Picked those up at Bass Pro Shop just last night. And uh, got some basic equipment with us. Everything else is in the vest. And uh, I think we're uh, we're good to go. We're gonna get this thing down to the water and see how she does. Yeah. All right, drop her down. Okay. Boy, it's cooler by the water. Yeah, it is. It's nicer down here. All right. Walk in. Yep, let's see how far. Right, right there. It's official, we're on the water. It's only been 13 years. It's been about yeah, 13 years since I've been in a kayak. That's insane. All right. I'm gonna give it a go just right over here to make sure she floats. Oh, I have been waiting a long time to be able to do this again. This is really something. Oh, now I got to reteach myself everything. Wow. I just realized the water level went, went way higher. Yeah. I needed the anchor. You're not moving the way I see you. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm coming in like crazy. This is a perfect conditions for the whopper plopper. Well, I've waited a long time to be back out on the water. It's something that I've wanted to do for years, and I just, I never really jumped at the opportunity to do it. And I finally decided this year was gonna be the year. I didn't feel like waiting any longer. I'm 31 years old. I wanted to uh, have a nice kayak that I was gonna be able to enjoy for a long time. So that's why I went with the uh, the Vibe Yellowfin. And so far, honestly, it's 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 what I wanted. It's it's pretty easy to move through the water so far, and uh, it's not tippy at all, really. It was pretty easy to get into. Next time, I'm probably going to bring my uh, my anchor. It's going to be the only improvement that I I think I need immediately that I that I'm noticing. Other than that, we're we're in good shape. I've got a spot over here um, that I have caught at least one pike at. 
we're not just after bass. Uh, that was never my intention was to just get into bass fishing for my kayak. I wanted to be able to catch a little bit of everything. And right over here, last year I caught a really nice pike. So we're gonna go see how it is. I think I'm gonna put the whopper plopper on, maybe. I'll probably do a few casts with the, uh, the jointed shad wrap that I've got. And then we're gonna switch over and try the whopper plopper. I wish I thought to bring my, uh, my other camera today. I have a, uh, a waterproof housing for it. I know that the GoPro um, is waterproof, but you know what? I, I really don't want to junk a $350 camera. I bought an Akeso camera on Amazon, and uh, I bought that specifically to have as a, uh, a tripod camera, just to be able to have set up as a second camera when we take fishing trips, but it came with a waterproof housing, and I 100% would uh, stick that $70 camera under the water. The crazy thing is that entire area ahead of us is really, really shallow. Uh, last year, and actually, um, I'd say a month ago, there was a land bridge all the way out to that island in the middle. That was not an island. Um, there was a walkway all the way out there. It's only like, I don't know, couldn't be more than a foot or two deep over there right now. Okay, this is so cool. Look at this. I guess you can probably see it. We're in about a foot and a half of water right now. I might actually be able to get over there. I think there's enough water, but I want to try here for a minute. This is like prime whopper plopper territory. I want to go over where I saw those fish jumping. This is going to be a nice spot though. The water level um, is a solid four feet higher, I'd say, than the last time I was here, and that was just a month and a half ago. All right, this is perfect. The water is still only a couple feet deep. And then we got all those thistles over there. Now I might catch on one, that's the only issue, but like that. This wind, the wind is crazy. And I know the wind's not blowing that hard. I needed my anchor, I needed my little anchor. I've got it in the car, I might still go get it. All right, this area is pretty cool. We're down to like a foot and a half of water. We're right over where those carp or whatever they were were jumping. Big, uh, I think they're carp. See if we can at least see a fish on this trip, huh? Yeah, 
right there. They're all in the shallows. I don't know if you saw that. I should have brought my underwater camera. You guys, I can't even explain how, uh, well, let me show you. Look at how clear this water is, guys. This is some of the nicest water I've ever, ever seen. It's just so clear. I want to shove my camera under the water so bad. <gasps> yeah. Giant bass. Guys, giant bass. Huge. Huge bass. This is what I really wanted this kayak for, is to be able to cover a good amount of water. They make um, some kayaks that are a bit more stable in this price range and cheaper. And really, I don't, I don't even know if that's true at this point. I've had no issues with stability. I've been able to do, you know, reaching around to pick stuff behind me and things like that. I've had no issue with it. But supposedly, slightly more stable, but they are slow as molasses. I researched a couple of them. Um, the one that looked like it was a decent kayak because it had all the features that I wanted was the Pelican Catch 100. Uh, and that was $200 cheaper. This is a, this is an $800 kayak, $799. And um, the other one was $599. And it actually went on sale for $499, so it would have been a great purchase. But um, I just wanted something that I knew was going to be able to move through the water okay. They say most of the boxier, stable kayaks uh, really don't track all that well. In this case... I felt like this was the better idea because I don't have a pedal drive and I don't have any type of a motor. This is this is it for my mobility. So if I want to be able to go anywhere, and you know, I just covered a pretty good amount of water in what, two, two or three minutes that we were just back at the launch there? I don't know. We move pretty fast on this thing. And I'm not I'm not having any issue with tracking either. Oh, this is so cool out here. Oh, I still can't believe I'm finally out here doing this. I don't even care if I don't catch a fish. Something just moved. Something big just moved in the water right here. All right. I think we got it set up now. Took us a while to get that to work, but... We have corn in the water. Uh. All right, the corn thing I don't think is gonna pan out for today. I need my anchor. I'm, I'm almost totally unable to function with the large pole um, without having an anchor. <laughs> oh, oh boy, oh boy. Giant, giant bass, guys, giant bass. It's a big, it's a big fish. Otherwise, I wouldn't put any time into it. There is a big fish here. I wonder if it's, uh, I wonder if it's got a, uh, a nest here or something. Oh my goodness, it's hanging out in this area. All right, we gotta. Well, 
I know what we're doing for at least a little bit. I at least want a chance at this fish. She's so huge. There, finally. He's right there. Oh no, the wind. No, no, no wind. No, the wind changed direction. No. My bass. Oh, come on. I see him, he's still definitely hanging around, just not, not looking like he wants the bait. All right, you win. Yeah, definitely gonna need the cart. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Start dismantling. All right. Sadly, we didn't catch anything today. Nothing. But uh, it was a good test. It's a good test of the kayak. There's a few improvements I'm gonna need to make to it. Hold it down. But, um, at any rate, first good go. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some uh, fish caught with it in the near future. Not next weekend, but the weekend after that, Memorial Day weekend, I'm definitely going to be coming back out. I don't know if I'm going to be coming to here or if it's going to be uh, my local creek that I go to, which is where I really want to try and catch some fish. But uh, at any rate, I'm, I'm super happy I got this kayak. This has been a long time in the making. I've wanted one for years and I've researched the past three months and uh, I'm quite happy with this. So at any rate... Thanks for watching this video, folks. I really appreciate it, and we'll talk to you soon.